Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over MATLAB Tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the fifth part of a series of tutorials on calculus in MATLAB. And in this tutorial, we will see how to work with Taylor series in MATLAB, how to display Taylor series of a function. So let us begin with the expansion of a function at origin using Taylor series. Suppose that this is the function that you want to expand. This is sine x, which is a function of x. So x is the variable. So first, you need to define this variable as a symbol using sys space x. After that, you have to use the Taylor keyword followed by parenthesis, and within it, you have to specify the function. So as you can see, you have got the expansion of sin x. If you see this expansion closely, you will find that the maximum order of x is just 5. So by default, whenever you expand Taylor series of a function using this function, MATLAB truncates the maximum order to 6, which means that the expansion will contain maximum order as 5. If you want to increase this order or decrease it, let us see how to do it. So first we have to declare x as a symbol, then use the Taylor keyword followed by parenthesis, then the function and then you have to write this string order followed by the order, the maximum order that you wish to bring in your expansion. So now the maximum order is 9. Since the expansion of sin x has only odd powers of x, that's why you are not able to get the 10th term. But if you use some function which has all the powers or which has even powers, then you will notice that the maximum power that you get is 10. After this, let us discuss how to expand a function using Taylor series at a point other than origin. So first, you have to declare the variable as a symbol, whichever you are going to use in your function. After that, use the Taylor keyword, then the parenthesis, then the function and then you have to write the variable x followed by the point around which you want to expand the Taylor series. So as you can see here, you have got this 2 here along with x. So this function has been expanded around the point x is equal to 2. So that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel Mad Over MATLAB and in case you have any doubts or suggestions, you can always leave them in the comment section below. So goodbye and take care.